So when you're making a pattern for your gathered toe moccasin, what you need to do is have a center line on your paper. Then you're going to take your foot, place your second toe on that line, and the center of your heel on that line. Then you're going to draw a line around your foot, pencil straight up and down, not on an angle. So trace your foot, and you want to have all your weight and pressure on there because it's your full size of your foot. So once you have your foot traced out like that, what you're going to do is you need to have the measurement from the tip of your toe to two fingers in front of your foot. So you're going to measure two fingers in front of your bend in your ankle to the tip of your toe, which is... Whoop, five inches. So you're going to draw that five inch line from the tip of your toe five inches back. Then you've got to measure across your foot um, to see how wide your foot is. So from where the two fingers are in front of the bend in your foot, you're going to put your measuring tape from the floor on one side to the floor on the other. Mine is seven and a half inches over there, over the circumference. So seven and a half. So half of seven and a half is three and three quarters of an inch. So you're going to mark that on your pattern. So three and three quarters, draw a line on one side of the center line. Do the same on the opposite side of the line, three and three quarters of an inch. And when you measure around to get the curvature of your foot, it's three quarters of an inch. So we're going to have to measure out from the tips of your toes outward. Three quarters of an inch. We'll measure all of those and that's how we'll get the curve in the foot. And always behind the heel is another three quarters of an inch to get the end of our um, pattern. So now what we're going to do is measure all these, then we're going to arch it out to these lines. We'll need a, to square these off with the ruler and then get that curvature. So when making this pattern for the gathered toe moccasin or the sheepskin moccasin, we have our, our three quarter inch marks and then we got to just arch it so it goes gradually, not abruptly, to the form of your foot. So you make your arch around the foot and then what we do is measure out one and one quarters of an inch this way out from the bend in your foot on each side and you get this and you measure on a 45 degree angle to get the point of the cuff. That'll be your cuff when the fur is folded over when your moccasin is sewn up. And that's going to be your cuff. You do that to each side. And then over here you have that one and a quarter inch spacing and from that 45 degree angle you make another 45 degree angle about I would say it is four inches and the larger side should be at six inches and that's going to be the cuff for the front of your vamp once it's complete. So with this um, pattern what you can do is have the sheepskin one that has like the little wings I like to call it and anything within here is your basic um, vamp or pad for your gathered toe moccasin and that's the pad you would cut out in this inner part for just a plain gathered toe moccasin or when you're making mucklucks for the bottom of your foot pad. And then for making the vamp, what you would do is measure in a 
quarter inch on the inside of your foot, making sure that you line these two lines up with the outside of your foot, about a quarter inch spacing. And then what you do is you just arch it, and you want to arch it just back of your toenails. So this inside part right here would be your vamp that's going to fit your foot. So those are the instructions for making patterns that are custom fit to your foot.